Hey, it's Bryce from Good Used Cars, and today I have a very nice 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT with a DVD player and stow and go seating. Absolutely one of my favorite vans out there on the market. You cannot beat stow and go seating. It's so easy, not cumbersome whatsoever. The second row flips right into the ground. The rear row as well flips down into the ground. You get amazing space back there. It's like having a flat deck truck almost. Get some plywood in there, tools. If you want to sleep, you can sleep in the back of that with those seats down and an air mattress very comfortably. And it even has a DVD player. So do a little camping or maybe a little bit of glamping because uh, you can feel right at home watching a movie, chilling in the back. I absolutely love these vehicles. You also get the uh, storage in the middle row when the seats are up. So if you're on a family trip or some sort of trip with passengers, you can load up that bottom where the seats go when they are stowed away. Uh, it does come with the roof rails, roof rack system already installed there. Alloy wheels, ventilated disc brakes, tinted windows in the rear, an absolute must for any passenger vehicle. Keeps the sun off of you, keeps you cooler. If you've got little kids, they'll fall asleep, wake up with a sunburn. Um, if you don't have the tinted windows, so it's, it's very important to have it. This one's got the backup camera. Why don't we take a look on the inside here. This one's nice condition, um, black interior, nice blue exterior with the pearl coat. So you get that sparkle. You got your power windows, uh, power locks. I actually really like the ones that you've got the windows that roll the back windows here. I can't imagine having a van that can't roll these windows down. You definitely want to have that for your passengers. Uh, power side mirrors there. This one here is a height adjustable driver's seat so you can go up, you can tilt this back tilt it forward then go forward backwards this is your back here and this does your lumbar support so you can get no matter who you are get very comfortable um, here you've got your emergency brake is a push on push off not a button which is nice just in case you actually need it in an emergency it's going to work you get to manually push it in there and you know it's it's active headlights and then of course your dimming control here for your uh for the instrument there which is actually really nice to have when it's dark at night so you can change that light adjustment so it doesn't bug your eyes you've got your volume control on the back of the steering wheel right there so volume and then on the other side of the steering wheel will also do your um, like change your songs and all that kind of stuff you got your cruise control here you've got triple zone uh, climate control so the driver gets to have one temperature the passenger gets to have another temperature because let's face it two people will always have a different type of comfort what they find is comfortable for uh, how hot or cold they are. And then of course in the rear for your rear passengers or kids, it does have AC in the back there. This is your um, touchscreen uh, media interface also has your backup camera. Here you've got your shifter um, and then basically you can put it down here when it's in drive, you can shift down by clicking it to the right like that or shift up to the left um, and, or sorry, to the left and then down to the right. And basically that's going to give you uh, control of your vehicle as if it was a manual transmission. You've got a little cubby in there, got some uh, headsets there for the, for the DVD setup. Here's the back seats, uh, captain chairs, which is absolutely amazing. Whether you've got kids or passengers, it's just nice to be separated. And I love having the armrest that just makes it for more of a comfortable drive. And then you've got the three seats back there, really easy to get in and out, unlike an SUV, which can be a little bit more cumbersome getting in and out to the third row, especially if you're an adult. This one's nice low cage. It's a 2013, only has 167,000 kilometers. So nice and low for the year. You've got your armrests right there. And then basically here's your DVD player. Just gonna pop that up right here. Just open this guy up here. You've got your DVD player there. And then there's your climate control for the back. Sorry, that's kind of a weird tilt angle. And there you go, the back seats there. Lots nice space. It's good to have the darker seats. And then under here, as I was saying before, so when you don't have anybody here, um, or sorry, when you don't have the seats down, you can open this up here, and then that's gonna give you definitely some storage space in there. 
Uh, definitely take a look at our website listing because I'm gonna have 30 some odd pictures of this van on our website. But if you're looking at Use Victoria um, or even uh, Car Gurus, you won't see all the, all the photos because they only allow us to have eight. Also, please don't contact us through Car Gurus because it comes in as an anonymous email to us. We don't actually get your real email. And then every time we respond, nobody gets it because it goes right to your junk file. So if you do, uh, although I suggest you don't, check your junk mail um, if you're going through Car Gurus. Also, please don't message us on the YouTube just because it's not checked as much. The best way to reach us is through our email or through our phones. You can text us, call us, call the office those two channels are just not the best way to contact us and like I said make sure you take a look at our website because I'm gonna have 30 some odd pictures of this van with the seats down two rows down one row up I'm gonna do different variations if you have any questions please do not hesitate to call us here at the office 250-743-4626 if you need a vehicle you need the space and you want some versatility, whether you have a family or not, you should definitely look at the Grand Caravan because it's impossible to beat. It drives really nicely. It's decent on fuel for a V6, got good power, just a nice overall vehicle. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and again, let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.